Hello folks and welcome back to Al Missouri for our Rax 2 Rich series and last episode we purchased even more equipment and we finally drilled our first crop into the ground and that was determined again by the wheel spins and yeah we got wheat so could have been worse could have been like alfalfa could have been Aussie radish but wheat that's a solid crop so what I'm going to do first of all is spin the wheel of determine what contracts we're going to be doing this episode because we've even got harvesting and plowing contracts. Also we're going to be spinning the wheel of economy so it'll be easy, normal or hard economy sense for this episode so I'm hoping again we get easy now but can we get easy what 3-4 times in a row? I am not sure but I am absolutely hoping for easy but you never know with the wheel now so spin those wheels and then we'll get cracking on with the furloughs in. And then, yeah, later on in the episode, I will be doing some logging, so without further ado, let's first of all get those wheels spun. So, alrighty then. Thankfully, it's harvesting contracts and it's on easy economy, baby. So, we've got some harvesting contracts ready to go. All of it is corn, so we're buying one equipment for that field, field 18. And then, yeah, hopefully, we get some more contracts coming up for harvesting. Because if there's more harvesting contracts, then we will do them. Because we got fields, I think, 31 and 1 we can do. If those contracts pop up, we can do those. 23 is a possibility, but at the moment, we've got equipment set up on 25 and 18. And then eventually we'll go down to field six. Oops. Oh, hey, that was near into the tree there. But yeah, let's talk about logging. I've got access to at least some of these trees. And we're we'll doing a wheel spin off. Whether or not do we do wood chips or do you know do just normal timber logging? However, I'm really hoping we get like things like wood chip in that because. With logging and that, that means we had to purchase a bit more equipment than I want at the moment. Because at the moment, we spun the wheel in last episode for our fields and that, or plot lands. And thankfully, we got plot 10, so that's going to be our first farm in that. That I am really excited for. Yes, at the moment, it's completely on the other end of the map compared to plot 3, where our first field is. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. Can't really do too much about it. But yeah, just quickly checking on the fertilizer state, so overall not too bad. A couple of spots here and there I've missed. But yeah, if we get a couple more contracts going this episode, I'll be absolutely laughing. So let me just finish these off and then we get cracking on with the corn. So with the fertilizing done, I bought the least equipment up here along with our trader. That can hold 120,000 years and that is going to be absolute crucial also i forgot to check where does all this corn go thankfully all of it goes into the corn dryer so that is absolutely amazing and actually i want to have a look can we go ahead and purchase a corn dryer in that so obviously you got to determine a wheel spin for that so help not help menu we want the interactive markers 100 grand for the corn dryer so I think if we get the corn in, get no the contracts done, because that's what? 33, 6, 33, 9, 43, 9, 42,900. Because, yeah, I think the corn dryer, that could help us get some really good amounts of money in, because if we could do a bit of a cheeky sell the extra crop in that, I don't know, maybe get another 3 grand, I think we get from all that extra corn, potentially. That should lead us to just about 100 grand, get that corn dryer on the way. Over winter now, because it's going to be the very loops on contract work in that. Yeah, I think if we get that corn dryer on the way. Obviously, that's going to be turned by a wheel spin. Yeah, I think it's going to be like a wheel spin off a yes or no, for I think pretty much. Because, yeah, I mean, in terms of purchase productions, I think that's something we can want to go for in that. Obviously, if there's a certain point down the road, which I will be, where we want multiple productions underway, then yeah, that's obviously got to be determined by wheel spin of getting the productions that we can have. Because yeah, I'm not doing a wheel spin for every production we can have, because I have got a lot of 
modding productions here, so go to our productions tab, just show some I've got da downloaded and enabled. So platinum stuff and that. Of course, we've got some of the Alma stuff and that. American silos, apple trees I'd like to have at some point. Now get some greenhouses underway. Get the dry corn and that potentially. Of course, a bit of propane and that. But yeah, we've got so many productions and that, so. Yeah, dang it. Don't miss, stop missing corn. We don't want to be losing corn now, come on. But yeah, we've got the Lexion 8900 here, so this will do us very good. And then rather than do, you know, do time lapses and that, you know, of me doing these contracts and that, I'm just going to chill out for a bit, what bitch of gold rushing out or something that I'm currently watching and that. But yeah, this will take, what, maybe two hours or so, so yeah, I'll get a crack on with this. And I'll see you folks in a little bit, or for you, it's going to be like a few seconds. And then, yeah, I'll bring you folks back once we start selling the corn. And there we go, what, nearly three hours later, we are done. So, we've got the last 120,000 liters. So far, just looking at my notes, we got 283,600 liters of corn harvested. So, now for the last little bit, so this is going to get us last little bit and all the money coming in, so... See the contract's been completed, then the extra money coming in any time now. And there we go, that's the money going up. And how much should we get overall? An extra 26,385. So overall, not too bad, not too shabby. And oh, look here, dang it. Oh, the sugar bee contract. Oh, let's move away from there a sec. That sugar bee contract, oh, dang it, I was hoping we can do that. But yeah, also look at please oh no, that's been harvested as well. It says plow on field one, but there's no yeah, remove foliage. That's ready to harvest, so why is that not being harvested? I'm guessing whoever has called field one doesn't want to do the harvesting, so they're thinking heck it just plow it, so also we've got bathing nets and yeah. Nice little equipment, including a quick, quick bell now, or quick bell now. So, that would be an absolute nice addition. So, I think, yeah, again, let's spin the wheel. And, yeah, see how lucky we can get. Because, yeah, we're very good into the episode here. And, yeah, we've still got logging to do. But, yeah, it's only half past seven now. So, let's quickly spin the wheel and see what more contracts we can do. Whether it's the two plan contracts or the one bathing. And the answer was bathing, so in a way I'm glad and not glad. I guess in the plan that would have took us a lot longer to do, but overall get more money potentially. However, yeah, this contract we're getting what? Is it 21 grand? So yeah, still potential to make an extra 32 grand from the bells and that. That doesn't sound unrealistic and that for us and that, so it's just that fell free across the derelict farm that's got absolutely no nothing on it like new buildings or anything but yeah so we've got our two tractors and that so the one we're borrowing as part of the contract has got the beater on and we're using our cloth to hold the bell loader and yeah with the quick bell that that's gonna get us bigger bells a lot quicker than that so that would be a very nice addition for us because yeah that could really help us a lot here yeah, it's just in terms of getting the contract done quicker and you know, getting everything shipped in that. Now we're all going to the bell. Oh yeah, the forage cell point. So, again, that's a bit more money as well because if we look at the finances at the moment, if I can, not finances, prices. Going down a bit. Silage. £600 or $600 for a thousand years. That is absolute banking. So, I know we didn't do a time that's outside of the corn, that took us, what, two and a half hours to do? But yeah, we've still got one field to do, field three. And overall, that ain't going to take us too long to do, is doing silage in that. I'll set this on to do swaths now, so you don't have to worry about, you know, get everything wind road in that. Just swath it all down. And then, yeah, get the builder, beater over there, get everything built up, wrapped up, and then 
take over to the cell point. So yeah, let's do a little short time lapse, get this all done, and I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here. So that is 250,000 years, and we did reimburse ourselves of the 8,000 years left in the beta. Trying to get another small, regular 10,000 10, year bell, but uh, unfortunately, that didn't quite work out. So, yeah, reimburse ourselves. So it was about 7,140 years times that by 500 and whatever the 590, whatever, for 1,000 years. That worked out to 4,720, so reimburse ourselves 4,700. And we get 55 grand from that contract, so nice. And I think more contracts, since we've still got a divide in two options. Again, the plan would be nice, but cultivating them would maybe the quicker option that. But yeah, let's spin that wheel and determine what more contracts we're going to be doing because as long as there's two options, I'm going to be doing them. And yeah, so we got the cultivator there. So yeah, we've gone and done these contracts. Also, we had another harvesting contract popping up since we already spun for harvesting in this episode. So I thought, do one more harvesting contract. And now, just the last bit of the sugar beets, and they should be mostly profit, pretty much. And there we go, profits going up. Small field, field 16. Contract was like five and a bit grand, so again, a little bit of extra income coming in. 3,800 for profit from that. And there we go, that is all the contracts done. And that leaves us with $209,219. And that is finally, well, weirdly enough, I wasn't expecting it, but that's enough to get our first farm. That so, next episode, we'll get our first farm. But now, actually, to get on with the actual episode, I like, you know, for yeah, do a bit long in this episode. Whether it be wood chipping or what, I'm not sure. But yeah, just contracts been popping up in that, and especially winter now, we're in November and that, so... Winter is very close and that, so... We have not many more opportunities for contracts and that. Been lucky with most of them, not with some in that. But anyways, is is what it is at the end of the day, so our trailer's just over here by the corn dryer. 
And now I think for this episode, spin the wheel one more time. And it's going to be whether or not we do normal logging or wood chipping. Because if we could do wood chipping, then that could mean potentially, well, I'll say the snap up. I think it's a fair few body, I think the devour and that. So I think that's what, like 50 grand or so, 25 grand? But anyway, so let's spin the wheel first of all, and then yeah, we'll get cracking on from there. So, just one bill, and it is wood chip. So, that is fortunate. So, get a bit more money coming in. Again, I don't know how much it is. And actually, I've not checked on how good wood chips is. Because, depending on the maps and that, you know, I know this is by Celebuki and that. So, really, I think wood chips will, I think, will have been profitable, I think. But again, it's not always guaranteed of all the maps and that. So I think it's not like by spring where like, wood chips are worth more than the logs and that, so how much is the logs worth and that? Three thousand or so thousand litres. Very consistent and that wood chips. Ooh, low five oh seven. Maximum sixteen twenty. Oof. Oh wait a minute, what's that? The train cell point? At Sedalia and that, so thinking so yeah, is that the train cell point? I don't want to it down, no. But yeah, that is the train cell point. So where do we load up? Over here? And that is actually nice, that. So we can log that. So you can log these little bits of trees over here. Yes, it's not a lot of trees, I'll admit. But it's going to be some trees and that. So I think we can make our profit back. Then, yeah. Take out the road. Up through the town and that. Towards like you know, shopping out the green slows and that corn dryer and yep, whack onto the train storage, and then that's the jobs a good and so. First of all, let's go and grab the wood chipper. So that would be under forestry equipment, and do I have to devour? Twenty-five grand. I think it's only fair in that. Yeah. I'll yeah, I think it's only fair we purchase it rather than leasing it now, so... I think going forward now, it's going to be like the rule set off. If we've got the money in the bank account, regardless whether or not we're trying to save up for that, or whatever else equipment-wise, something like this and that, if it's an option we want to do that, we have to buy the equipment up front. In a way, if we did logging that, that would have been cheaper potentially, because... We will not have money for a true harvest snack. That's what, like 450 grand, 500 grand? I think it's around about 300 to 500. I think it is on average and that. But yeah, we shouldn't have that money at the moment. Actually, does this take wood chips? I was thought so. Since it takes a cotton and all that, so. Yeah, it may not be much wood chips, but. At least at the end of the day, if we can make our money back from it in this episode and from it, from these little trees we're doing, then you know what? I'm happy now. Then down the road, you know, get our new farm in the next episode and that. That's all I've got to make trees on it. But yeah, I think we need to get a wheel off yes or no on the way, because if I want to do stuff, it's going to be simple yes or no. There's <laughs> a 50 50 chance. But yeah, who knows at the end of the day? Anyways. Let's just get cracking on with the wood chipping, I think.
right, yeah, I think it was definitely well worth it. Now, we're carrying the last bit of wood chips. We got 14,000 euros, but also we had a full trader and the devourer's worth that. So, what was that, like 160, 170,000 euros that? And yeah, we just rented a train and it's just up there, so it ain't going to take us too long to do. And actually, I do need to move up potentially because because yeah we unloaded into there last time and yeah I'm not sure if we can be able to offload into here yeah I think yeah, that's going to be a new on that so I've got an idea so let's go over to the train silo or the train that because I think if we reverse this... Oh no, no, it's just here. Nice. Now it works out better. I thought it was further back for some reason. So yeah, all we have to do is drive forward. There we go. Yeah, this should just do a bit of a cheeky offload onto here and that. There we go. So get that folded. Best turn the engine off because he yeah, had all to keep on running the fuel down. Yeah, this should just case off. Open the first cart up. Ooh. Okay, yeah, but there we go. Onions and that. We have to do all sorts of stuff we can. Yeah, I forgot I need well, so many productions here, so I should have gone the other way, Nat, for the wood chips. There we go. 180,000 euros. So if you look at the cost of wood chips at the moment, one half grand per thousand euros. So, yeah, this was a good day for us. It will be a good day for us. So, yeah, next episode, you can now purchase a farm that, have a bit of extra money overhead now for potential new equipment. There we go. A new equipment than that, potentially, now, but. I want to get more than that. The more than we can get, the more better we can be, you know, a bit more self sufficient than that, rather than, you know, do contracts all the time. Because, yes, I just want to do, just again, I always want to get some farming done. Obviously, we're going to be mass expanding our fields and that, like, literally, that's one, two. That's going to be three lots of plot two that we just got there, so. That's where our little hiccup in that. Yeah, so this, uh, yeah, I think this alone is going to be worth what, 180, 270 grand worth, give or take, 200, I'll say about 260 in that, but overall, that's not too bad. And yeah, for someone training around, I'm not even like along these tracks and that so many times in that, you know, doing contracts and that, you know, seeking across. Well, yeah, take in the beautiful scenery. And now let's see how much we can get from this. Let's see about 265 grand we'll get. And yeah, so yeah, I think it was definitely worth more than compared to doing, you know, the login. So we're just gonna get about yeah, about to get booted from the train. 278 grand. That is absolute nice amount of money coming in. Yeah, I said, what, 260 and that? Yeah, it's a bit on our space, but... Yeah, before we'll wrap things up here, let's look at our new farm net. So, obviously, fertilizing is needed. That will be determined by the wheel spins and that. But yeah, I think, you know, what's that, a little side possibly there? Yeah, a little side on the farm. Finally get our own farm house, so we don't have to, you know, keep on going to the house in town and that. Yeah, a couple of barns and that. No, that can't be opened. Actually, I don't think this can be open because we don't own it yet. Yeah, I think once we get this purchase, we'll actually go and see inside. But, you know, a couple of decent sized sheds and that. And if we get the uh, drone out, go into drone mode. And yeah, we can sort of see the farm as a whole now. So. That is absolutely nice, that so 
I am happy for that. So this is going to be our new farm. Yeah, but some junk is actually removing that. But yeah, we get two fields. Also got a little track down that leads to the river. That uh, looks like it has the potential to get flooded when it rains and that, so... Do need to be careful, because yeah, cause my thing here is get the plough out. Extend it as we can to the bank of the little stream here, the river and that. Do we cut across the entire track and that, you know, create one big mega field and that? Oh, I'm well, not sure of that because that's yeah. If we do that, I just thought I was accessing this field here, field 18. But let's say if we do get the field in that field 18, we do can just transport along the bridge here. That does require obviously we've got the combine in that, you know, a header train in that. So we can't just drive straight across that with a combine header on it. So yeah, not sure of that. Yeah, it looks like we get some animals to swap by the looks of it. I'm not sure what's that, pigs or whatever and that. Big sheep or whatever it is, I am looking forward to it. But yeah, overall, I am excited. Was it worth it? Hell yes it was, brother. But yeah, so I think next time, purchase a farm. Oh yeah, we're going to be in December next time that, so contracts and that. Maybe a bit few and far between that, so... See, I think, can we plant any crops over the winter and that? Only wheat now. Nope, I'm going to sit to the rules and that, so... Yeah, we won't be planting anything until, like, March and that, so... At the end of the day, it is what it is and that, but... Anyways, that's a wrap up for today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash the button. Feel free to number though. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please consider... But for you to do, hope you nice day. But for now, it's me Farmer Evo Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.